Well, I uh, have red hair and fair skin. I sunburn <laughs> extremely easy, and I'm an outdoor person. Constant sunburning. I developed lip cancer years ago. Had a tumor in my lip. Doctors had to remove my lower lip, and then, of course, they rebuilt it using tissue from my cheeks and inside my mouth. So I had a new lip, but no moisture glands. I needed lip balm constantly to lubricate my new lips. And I got tired of the little notches on the bottom of the stick of lip balm in your pants pocket. As you move throughout the day, those notches catch in your pants clothing. They twist. The balm worms itself up in the cap. It made a gooey mess. I got completely tired of that. So I thought, I'm going to invent a new lip balm dispenser with a smooth, firm-turning metal base, a tighter-fitting cap. And so I made one. And I really liked it. And it worked perfectly. I loved it. And then my wife, Karen, said, OK, Wayne, I think you need to start a new business. And by the way, it's OK if you take money out of our savings account to start the business. So is my wife that has all the credit for this business. Our production capacity is 3,000 units per day. It goes nationwide and Canada. Uh, we're just starting to enter the South African market and also preparing next year, 2018, to enter the United Kingdom, London market. Every component, there's uh, eight components that goes into each and every balm shot lip balm, and every one of those are made in the United States. I mean, the steel, the plastic, the oils, all American sourced, all made 100% made in USA, and of course, all made in Idaho.